How's your summer outfits? How to look chic in the heat this 2021. Hi, I'm Jess. Welcome to my channel, Fashion and Style Edit. Today I'm talking how to look chic in the heat this 2021 with all my favorite casual summer outfits. The do's and don'ts I keep in mind, the fabrics that I try and keep at arm's length, and those styles that become my new best friend. A big hello to all my regular subscribers. Hope you're all well and you've had a lovely week. And if you're new here, thank you so much for finding my channel. I really hope you enjoy this video and it gives you lots of outfit ideas and inspiration. And if it does and you're feeling generous, I'm always very grateful for any spare thumbs up you've got going. And of course, you can always subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. So without further ado, let's get stuck in and share how to look chic in the heat this 2021 with all my favorite casual summer outfits. First with a pedicure because goodness knows it's been a very long time since these feet have seen any love at all. And secondly, rethinking your summer footwear situation. Throw out those sandals that got partly dissolved by salt water, me included, I need to do that. Bin those flip flops that kind of break on every fifth step, we've all had a pair of those. And treat yourself to one of this season's lovely new pair of shoes that will leave you feeling chic in the heat every time. I personally don't think you would ever regret investing in a beautiful pair of shoes and I recently discovered a brand called Flattered. Now not only are they very chic and very elegant but they come without the insane price tag as well. I'd actually been recommending this brand to a couple of friends recently so I came to the conclusion that it was about time I treated myself as well. So after much procrastination I actually ended up going for two of their lovely pairs of shoes. The first ones are the body flats that I'm wearing, which it has to be said since they arrived, I haven't taken them off my feet. I love them. In fact, in terms of quality, they really remind me of Palem Paris handbags who also happen to be made in Spain. But I would say price-wise, they're very similar to Cezanne. So we're not talking cheap cheap, but we're saying really high quality and they cost a fraction of what they probably should. So with this pair, I went for something I really needed rather than just this pair, which was something I really wanted. Uh, so I went for a lovely pair of classic summer sandals. So you've got a really nice squeaky sole there underfoot, lovely panel of leather across the toe, and I think they've got that shade of tan spot on. Some might say I'm a little obsessed with summer dresses, or maybe I'm just obsessed with summer, probably both. But I never mind splashing out on a lovely summer dress because one, I know after say one season, it's cost per wear will be next to nothing. And two, I'll wear them every year from that point on. I just love them, I find them very wearable and really timeless in my capsule wardrobe. And to prove my point, here's a little snapshot of some of my summer dresses I've bought over the years that still make an appearance in my wardrobe every single year. I had a lot of wear, so they were definitely worth the pennies. Most recently, I invested in this summer dress that I'm about to show you. Now, I bought this specifically with our holiday to Rhodes coming up in mind, which I'm keeping my fingers and my toes crossed. Boris doesn't change the traffic light system on us. So all being well, I shall be wearing this lovely organic cotton mini dress on the beach sometime soon. As you can see, it's a very classic type of dress. It does make me feel really elegant and elevated and chic and stylish and all the good stuff. Aside from Cezanne, which you know I love, another brand I spotted doing some really beautiful summer dresses would be Monsoon. I personally haven't bought anything from them just yet, but that's simply because I've just bought quite a few dresses in the last couple of months. However, if you haven't already filled that quota in your own capsule wardrobe, I would highly recommend having a look. I've linked a few favorites that I spotted on their website in the description box below. When creating my perfect, really wearable, casual summer outfits, a lot of my thinking starts with the fabric content. You might find what you think is the prettiest blouse in the world and it's perfect for that hot and sunny lunch date you've got coming up and not quite spot the fabric content, but if it's been made from an awful fabric content, you'll wish you'd never bought it. My favorites are cotton, tensile, linen, sometimes silk for summer. And I'd avoid polyester, leather, satin, and anything that glimmers. Unless you're fond of boiling alive or looking a tad sweaty, which in my humble opinion is not hugely attractive, I'd stick with natural fibers as much as possible. Now 
Now I'm going to start this one with a very honest disclaimer that straw hats can be hugely impractical. They tend to fly off in the wind and they're really tricky to pack. However, they just make an outfit look effortlessly chic every single time. And that's probably why I will always have one in my summer capsule wardrobe. Plus, of course, there's the added bonus of shielding your face in the sun, which is never a bad idea. But because of the cons I mentioned before, I rarely tend to invest too much money in one. Besides which, you can always pick up a great version or two from the high street, so there's really no need to spend too much. I bought this one recently from H and it does everything I need. It's wide enough to protect my crow's feet from getting any more sun damage than they already have. It's squidgy enough to be able to make it work in a carry-on case for my holidays. You can literally flatten that one down and then it will pop back into shape. It's big enough to create a great diversion tactic when I'm walking around the pool in my cosy. And of course, it's chic enough to elevate any outfit. So for all those reasons, it's definitely one of my favorite accessories to use when I'm creating my perfect casual summer outfits. Some of my favorite casual summer outfits are often very simple pieces paired together. But what I'll often do to elevate the entire look is add in a statement handbag to finish. It's about balancing the look as well, particularly when I'm wearing something pretty minimal. A beautiful handbag, wherever it's from, just ties it all together. Plus, of course, when you're feeling one big hot mess in the heat, no one's gonna be looking at you. They're just gonna be looking at your beautiful handbag instead. Now, you might remember I got a new handbag in recently from a brand called Demelier London. Now, I made a mistake, actually, going for it with the plain shoulder strap, so I exchanged it and went for the one with the gold chain instead. And I realized, although you've probably seen this handbag with lots of my outfit ideas in my recent videos, I haven't actually shown you the handbag properly, so I'm just gonna give you a quick rundown on it now. I really love the fact that the handle looks like I'm wearing a big, chunky chain bracelet when I hold it. It's deceptively large, so I can get everything I need in there. Design-wise, I think it's hugely original. I've never seen anything like this before. And quality to price ratio, again, like Polen and those shoes I've just discovered from Flattered, is really, really high. And although I went for this particular design because I had a gap in my collection for an evening bag, I've actually been using it so much in the daytime as well. I quite like that contrast of wearing a very casual daytime outfit and pairing it with a very statement evening bag. It shouldn't work, but I think it really does. I think it's very, very hard to look chic in the heat in anything super tight. It's not impossible, but let's just say you're not making your life any easier. I personally prefer not only to choose more natural, lighter fabrics, but also a looser and more relaxed fit as well. Still remembering to balance out my look with a contrasting top or bottom portion, but trying to integrate at least one element that's a touch on the looser side. So here you can see I've gone with my looser fitting trousers and a simple cami on top. It's easy going and relaxed, yet it still feels chic. The balance feels right between the shapes and it has to be said, it's very, very comfortable. Looser fitting clothes are less likely to stick to you when you get hot and choosing your fabrics wisely, they'll expel the heat rather than retain it too. Now, unless you're going for linen, it is harder to find trousers without an element of polyester in them. I'll often see a tiny portion sneaked into the content. So do be mindful of what you buy or maybe search out something really sustainable like Tensile or Ecovera, both of which have a lovely drape in trousers and are really breathable fabrics too. I'm sure we all know this one by now, but in case you missed the memo, those tonal one color outfit ideas not only make you look more elegant, refined and stylish, and when you're wanting to create really effortless, casual summer outfits, the one color look applies to the heat as much as it does for when it's cold. I've said it many times before, but a tonal look will always elevate your outfits, whatever the weather. Keep in mind all the other points mentioned before in terms of fabric content, fit and shape, but don't worry too much about exact matches either. Just shades along a similar train of thought will do the trick. So with white, for example, no two are exactly the same. So my advice would be not to try and fight that, just go with the flow with those slight differences. And it doesn't have to be just with white. Any one color look will have the same effect. So just have a look at your own wardrobe and pick out those tones that you seem to have the most of. It could be blue, it could be pink, it could be camel. The effect is still the same. 
Wear it as one colour and it will always elevate your look. Now before you grow in, I know it's not exactly blazer weather. However, if you are one of the unlucky few, like myself, that doesn't happen to live somewhere that it's 30 degrees every day, by the way, I'm very jealous if you do live somewhere like that, then this tip might help. Obviously in summer, I'll opt for some of my lighter versions, either in cotton or linen, and I tend to use them to finish off a summer dress if it's not quite hot enough to wear that dress on its own. And also for workwear, if I'm going to meetings and I feel that the dress isn't quite smart enough to get away with, if I put a blazer over the top, it just kind of finishes it off, polishes the whole look, and makes me feel elevated enough to go to work. Plus, of course, it means I'm getting even more use out of all my summer dresses, which is never a bad thing. Now swimwear is definitely in my investment section. I would happily and have done before spend a pretty penny on finding that perfect swimsuit or bikini. If I'm going to be sat with all my lumps and bumps on display, I'm going to give it my best shot with a beautiful swimsuit. So when I've invested all those pennies, it does seem a shame to only save it for the beach, so I tend to integrate them into outfit ideas too. And hopefully you'll agree from this footage, it's really easy to do. Depending on your swimsuit, you could pair it with laid back shorts, a skirt, or maybe with some more tailored smart trousers. My swimsuit is pretty low cut, but when paired with more elegant pieces like the trousers or the skirt, it really elevates the look, helping me feel more chic and refined. Actually, thinking about swimwear, I found what I thought was the perfect bikini the other day. Well, actually, I found a swimsuit that I totally fell in love with, but I didn't fall in love with the price. And then there was also a bikini by the same designer. Now, it's now in the sale, so it's a lot more reasonable than it was before. However, it's still pretty pricey, so I haven't quite taken the plunge yet. I'd quite like to hear from all of you. I do always invest in my swimwear. I do see the value in that, but this would be the most expensive one I've ever bought. So I'm not sure if I should do it and spoil myself to such an expensive bikini, but I love it. Save yourself from having to add any more layers when it's hot and let a lovely piece of statement jewellery do the polish for you. Now I must admit I do have a bit of a habit of over accessorising in summer but I just love that slightly bohemian vibe that it brings. Adding the right amount of jewellery to your casual summer outfit ideas can really help finish them off and make them look and feel effortlessly chic. I'm personally a big fan of gold jewellery and in my watches too. I probably wear this gold mesh Nordgreen one more than any of my others actually. I tend to wear it as a bracelet almost instead of for practical reasons. It's just another sprinkle of gold on my wrist. Then I love all my gold necklaces, which I'll often layer, or occasionally adding a few bracelets into the mix. It naturally feels very summery, and when I don't get too carried away adding in all these different styles, it can look really chic as a result. I really hope you've enjoyed this video, taking a look at my casual summer outfits and the tips and tricks I reach for when I want to look more chic in the heat. As always, it's lovely to hear from you all in the comments section below, and I especially like hearing you all chit chat amongst yourselves. I think we've got a really nice community here together on YouTube. So don't forget to let me know not only your favorite outfit idea in the description box below, but also if you've got any tips for the other subscribers about how you stay all chic and lovely in the heat as well. Don't forget, if you're not already subscribed, I'm very grateful if you'd like to do so. And I've also included a link in the description box below where you can find my daily outfit ideas and inspiration over on Instagram. I'll be back next week with lots more outfit ideas, styling tips, and lots of chit-chatting. Hopefully you will join me then. Take care.